In this tutorial, we'll show you how you can Im implement these pricing tables on your website. Now, if you're a company that offers various different packages for your products or services, this will come in handy. Um, you can set the number of packages you require, pricing, features, and an order button which will contain your payment link. By the way, if you want to learn how to make this awesome website you see here for a couple of dollars, please see our how to make a website video in our channel and we'll show you how you can make all of this for a few dollars all by yourself in the space of about 80 to 90 minutes. Once you've logged into your WordPress dashboard, go to plugins and add new. Search for easy pricing table we want this one easy pricing tables by fat cat apps install now and activate Then you'll see a section in the menu area for the pricing tables. Add new. Give it a title. And you can start putting your details in. So we'll have three plans and three columns. Let's say beginner, advanced and expert. Each feature needs to be on a new line. These may look like they're on separate lines, but it's just every time I press enter is counted as a new line. So I'll just copy that in there and add something else. We need some text for our call to action. and a URL for that call to action. Now this can be your payment URL. For example, if people are paying using PayPal, you would put in your PayPal payment ID. For the time being, I'm just going to use this URL just as an example. You can feature a particular plan. This just means that there'll be a most popular tag on it. I'll show you now what that does. It sort of stands out a bit more than the others. So if I click Save, to deploy this pricing table on a page, you need to get the short code. So copy that in and let's create a new page. Paste in that short code and publish. And there you have it. You'll see the middle column that we selected as a feature has a most popular tag associated with it and a different color. And you can see each of the features and the prices associated. Now, this is a sidebar template. I'm going to change this to a full width so the columns take up a bit more space. So if I refresh that, 
And there you go. I'll just show you how to change the color of these buttons here. In the design tab, you'll find that there are options including font sizes, button colors, and custom CSS. Now, you don't really have to worry too much about it unless you really want to customize the look and feel of your pricing table. In this instance, I just wanted to change the featured button, the featured column button to a green. So let's try this. So all I've done there is change the button color to a green, the border to a lighter green, and the hover color to a dark green. Save. Now if I just refresh that, there we go. And that's an easy way to set up a pricing table on your website. If you want access to other styles, um, just go to the upgrade button and you'll see that the full version of this plugin has a range of different table uh, styles and formats so you can see a few here and so you can upgrade to a paid version if you like and there'll be a link to that in this video below so there it is, thanks very much for watching. Please thumbs up this video if you found it useful. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or feedback. We appreciate your support so we can keep producing these tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe and watch our other tutorials for more WordPress website tips and tricks.